Wow, we do have a very nice mild start to your first Monday of December. It's going to be pretty comfortable. Seasonably speaking, our normal temperature 51 is a high, 32 as a low, and we are right on target for those, at least for today. We have 52 as our high for today under mostly cloudy skies, 34 tonight. We do cool down a little tomorrow for our highs, 48 and then 46 and 46 for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Next chance of rain will really come by the end of the weekend, but by then we will be up into temperatures close to about 60 degrees. Baltimore police are investigating six shootings that happened within just 48 hours, killing three people and hurting three more. Alexis Davila is joining us live to break down these cases. Alexis. Yeah, well, many families gathered this past weekend to spend some quality time with one another and get into the festive spirit. But the weekend ended up taking a drastic turn instead. Police ended up being called on Saturday afternoon to find a man in southwest Baltimore who was shot in the face at a bus stop. The man died in the hospital. There were also two other separate shootings that happened Saturday that left two other men injured. And a night at the movie theater went wrong after police say shots were fired inside the Harbor East Cinemas Saturday night. Police say no one was hurt, but the shooter was not caught. If you have any information that can help them solve any of these cases, give police a call. Reporting live, I'm Alexis Davila for WJZ. Alexis, thank you. A second federal hearing is set for this morning in the Catholic Archdiocese of Baltimore's historic bankruptcy filing. Miana Massey has the latest on this case. Miana. Well, this process will take quite some time, but for now, the courts will focus on financial transparency and hearing from victims who say they want the church to be held accountable. Well, the Archdiocese filed a Chapter 11 bankruptcy in September ahead of a new law that eliminates the statute of limitations in child sexual abuse claims. This would allow the church to equitably compensate victims and ensure that it still can continue its ministries. Well, the creditors committee is working to gain a clearer picture of the church's financials examining assets and liabilities. Again, this process is expected to take years. Of course, we will keep you updated both on air and online. Sina, Amy, back to you. A firefighter is now out of the hospital after battling this massive fire at an old vacant building in Parkville. It happened on the 9300 block of Hartford Road and was once home to many businesses. The firefighter who was hurt only suffered minor injuries. Meanwhile, a new report finds the former principal of Farquhar Middle School, Joe Biddleman, created a work culture where some staff felt threatened. The initial eight page report says Biddleman violated Montgomery County Public Schools code of conduct, sexual harassment and workplace bullying policies dating back as far as 2018. Middleman is currently on administrative leave.